What's going on guys? My name is Trent and today I'm in the garage with my Suzuki SV650. Today we're going to be doing the first install video on it. Uh, I got a couple different projects planned for the bike so today is the first of hopefully many. Uh, we're going to start off kind of easy or I hope it's easy and we're going to be installing this guy right here. It's a lethal threat clear tank protector. I uh, just want to keep the tank looking fresh and not get any scratches or anything on it. So. Uh, yeah, this one seems to fit my bike okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to install this. Let's do it. So now that I have the bike positioned where I want it, I'm gonna take some of this alcohol and a clean rag and clean off this surface so the protective tank pad has a nice place to bond to. Now that I got the tank all cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out of the package and uh, see where I wanna actually put it. I think I want it somewhere towards the bottom here, maybe with a slight bend over here. Um, that way, you know, when my belt's rubbing up against it or my jacket or whatever, um, this part's protected and up here, I'm not gonna be rubbing up here, I'm not that tucked. So uh, yeah, I think this will be probably a good spot to have it. it. Says on the package, it should be about 75 degrees outside. It's a little cooler than that right now. So I'm gonna use a blow dryer to kind of heat the adhesive up and heat the tank up before I put it on, just so I know I'm gonna get a good bond. I actually saw this in another video. I'm gonna take some of this painter's tape and just do a line right down the center and try to center it on the tank just so I have a guideline of where I'm putting this uh, before I just go sticking it on willy-nilly. And now I'm just heating up the underside of this adhesive just to make sure it's, uh, it's nice and sticky. Like I said, it is a little cooler than 75 degrees out here. So I just want to make sure that I'm gonna get a good bond between this adhesive and the tank. And uh, here goes nothing, I guess. All right, I'm gonna start with that and basically work my way up. Uh, hopefully it sticks okay. All right, last piece. <laughs> All right, well, here she is. Uh, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but kind of up close, you could see the uh, kind of the adhesive behind the clear, which is what I was kind of warned about before getting the clear. Um, that's why a lot of people do the black or the carbon fiber look, just because you can't really see underneath it. Once it's kind of stuck on, it's just stuck on there. But uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, see how it looks in a couple minutes. Well, I think that's about it for this install. Obviously not too uh, complex. I'm just putting a sticker on a tank virtually. Um, the adhesive, I could still kind of see through the clear and that's probably one of the pros of having a black or a carbon fiber one. Um, I'm hoping it'll set up maybe over the next couple days and maybe um, you won't be able to see that quite as much. But if not, it was only 15 bucks and then maybe I'll switch it out for a black one. But for now, I think it looks pretty decent, especially if you're not right on top of it looking at it. There's no air bubbles or anything. I think that's just the nature of what the adhesive looks like under the clear. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, because I'm going to be making more install videos on this bike, be sure to click that subscribe button and I will catch you on the flippity flop. Peace out.